Joining me right now, House Judiciary Committee member, Florida Congressman Greg Stubbe. Congressman Stubbe, welcome. So you're getting ready yeah, thanks for, for another big me. show? Getting ready. We've got a committee hearing they just noticed today for next week in judiciary. So we'll have to see what they have under under their sleeve. Mm -hmm. Under their sleeve. Um, how prepared are you to be able to expose some of the other stuff? I mean, certainly when we saw the, the giant shift show, <laughs> there, there wasn't much opportunity for, uh, I think, Republicans to get another viewpoint. In. And yet, amazingly, I think a lot of the truth came out with Ambassador Sondland saying, yeah, there was no quid pro quo. The president specifically told me. I just want him to do what he thinks is right. Um, what do you expect with, with Nadler? Well, I think it'll be the same as you've seen in the past and the same that you've seen with Chairman Schiff. It's going to be very partisan. I think the information that you just uh, alluded to, to your viewers, shows how partisan that this is, that there's all these conversations going on with the whistleblower, and we as Republicans in the minority don't have the opportunity to cross-examine any of these people, to hear mm -hmm. of these conversations that are going mm -hmm. on, to, to hear from the conversations going on with, at the staff level. So unfortunately in the House, we won't be able to get those answers, but when it goes to the Senate, then those individuals will be subpoenaed, I hope, and I hope they subpoena Chairman Schiff. I hope they subpoena his staff and start asking questions. I hope they subpoena Hunter Biden oh, and start asking him questions about Burisma. They I hope they do. I mean, Lindsey Graham's already launching an investigation into just exactly what Hunter Biden was up to. Let me, let me turn to some of this news that is coming in via reports tonight, that somehow the whistleblower and the staff member uh, for Adam Schiff already knew each other because they had worked together at the NSC. And then the timing, of course, gets kind of peculiar because the guy leaves the NSC, shows up on Adam's staff, and boom, presto, the whistleblower is meeting with the friend and then filing the report. What does that indicate to you if these reports are indeed true? Deep state Democrats working with deep state Democrats to unseat our president. I mean, it, it doesn't surprise me at all. This has been going on ever since the president's gotten elected. And as soon as January 1st, when the Democrats took control of the House, they've got six different committees investigating the president, trying to find something to impeach him on. First, it was the Russia collusion hoax. Then it was obstruction. Then it was corruption. And now it's this whistleblower thing. So the fact that there may be these actors working together, uh, just like what we've seen, and I hope to see very soon when the IG drops his report on the FISA abuse investigation, we will see that these people in these different positions had a political motive as to what they're doing. And that's not in the best view and best state for our American democracy. What about the money trail here? Because again, there are reports that uh, some of Schiff's staffers actually used to work at a think tank that was funded by none other than the Ukrainian company in the, in the thick of it all, right? The same Ukrainian company that was paying for access to the United States via Joe Biden's son. Burisma was backing this thick think tank where these guys used to work. How common is that, by the way, in Washington, D.C.? I mean, people that are working in think tanks that are backed by foreign entities and foreign companies are, are what, churning out favorable reports that would put this company in a better position or the country in a better position? Well, of course they are. And that's the kind of things that I hope, you know, unfortunately, we can't get to the bottom of that in the House because we don't have the majority. But I hope that Lindsey Graham and the other Republican uh, senators who are chairman of these different committees will subpoena this information, get these documents, bring these people to come and testify and start asking them questions, uh, especially Schiff's staff. When did you talk to the whistleblower? What coordination did you have with him before he filed the complaint? Did you help him file the language of that complaint? All of these things I think the American people deserve to have the answers to. Yeah, they deserve it, Congressman. Um, what's your hunch about what really is happening here and what we're going to learn in the Horowitz report and the uh, Durham report that should follow? I, I, I think you're going to see some high-level actors in the DOJ that were using uh, partisan investigations that were illegally getting uh, subpoenas and search warrants to spy on the Trump campaign. And I hope that uh, the Department of Justice and Bill Barr were, will find justice if that was what was going on at the highest levels of the DOJ. Anybody going to jail? I, if somebody broke the law, they should. And I think with William Barr as the AG, I, I feel very confident that if there's things there that were illegal that was going on in the agency, I think he'll uncover it. And I think those people will be brought to justice. Congressman Stubbe, really good to see you tonight. Thank you so much. <clears throat>